Work, folks! It's time for more Let's Play HBO Boxing. In the last episode, we were nearly, well, I wouldn't say we were nearly beaten, but we had a very tough match against a, uh, an opponent. There he is, Mr. Nate Pendleton. Prick he is. Alright, we'll carry on. We're against, next up, his name's Galen Gallen Fowler. So, he is our next opponent. Let's train stamina. Again. Alright, so I got something to say pretty much, which is um, I'm having a can of apple and raspberry J2O. Which is lovely. But what is really the point in them putting J2Os now into cans? I've literally poured it into an ordinary mug. It doesn't even come up to like the whole thing. It's probably about like two thirds of it. That's it. A bit annoying, really. Anyway, we are now up to 919 health. Possibly like one more or two more attempts at that, and then I can start uh, increasing my cut opponent technique. Alright, so the time is half past eight at night. Uh, I don't know how many recording set, well, how many videos I'm going to do in this recording session. I've already done three today, so I don't know how many more I'm going to do. Uh, but as I said, I gotta catch my coach tomorrow, I gotta print off my tickets and pack, so that's a lot to do in the morning. Plus, obviously, freshen myself up and crap like that. So, I'm gonna have to get up early, but that obviously means I'm gonna have to go to bed early, which is very... <laughs> Good luck with that, Chris. Well done. Anyway. Let's have a look at Eddington, currently 11-0, with 11 wins by way of knockout. He celebrates his amazing victories. His opponent, Gallen Fowler, with 15 victories. He looks slightly Hispanic for some reason. 400 health. Still 400 health. Okay, now he's got less than 400 health. I have 900 health. I blocked your hit. I hit you with my own. Screw you, uppercutting power. Ow. The power of uppercutting compels you to get hit by my uppercuts. Right, so I've done 50 damage to him, which is a good start. Oh, I blocked him. Boom, an uppercut missed. Guy he likes to block this guy, doesn't he? Well, he's ready to quit already, so that's a good thing. All I've done is I've done like over a hundred, like just under 100 damage. And already, well now I've done over 100 damage. Uppercut frenzy! Oh, yes! See, you hit me with your shot. I smack you in the face with an uppercut. And it might have just knocked you out. It's knocked him straight out. Wow, that battle was easy. One minute, one second. Well, technically one minute four, but it was actually one minute one. Of round one. And Ed Eddington dominates. Absolutely dominates. In this battle... Against Mr. Fowler, who just got his ass literally handed to him. Just so he could try and draw inspiration from it. Alright. More money. Our next battle is going to be against... Tweak Myers. I thought it was a twerk Myers, I thought. Predetermining twerking? Oh god, you need to get punched in the face. Alright. That's one spar. Probably not going to have enough hit. No, nowhere near it, I don't think. Uh, to be able to get uh, stamina up to its highest level and then be able to obviously do something else. Which I can't because I'm currently on 951 with three days left. 958. Wow, my stat rate, right, 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 my stat rates are going down a bit at the moment. We'll be up to 968 and the last one is going to be a 10. 978. Okay. We're against Tweak Myers. Great name. I know, obviously, the um, uh, the boxers higher up, they do exist. I don't know if these guys exist as well. I'm not sure. Well, this game was made in 2000, so I wouldn't know if these people actually existed. They might have done, for all I know. I mean, Tweak Myers might have been, like, uh, number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship at one point. I would have had the foggiest idea. But never mind. With that out of the way, 
Yeah, I'm just trying to save time from the stupid Welcome loading screen. House, which I should sort of cut mission. out loading screens, side, but you know, HBO I'd much rather sort of like have Robert like vlogging or talking or something. Like, Alright, so Ed Eddington, Dynamo Ed, 12 and 0 at the moment. 12 by way of knockout. Yeah, and he celebrates. Look at me, I'm undefeated. And his opponent, Tweak Myers. Denver, Colorado, 18 victories, but not many by way of knockout. He has 475 health. He doesn't anymore, because I've just uppercut him in the face. Twice. Time to kill! Uppercutting time. Has he actually nailed a shot yet? Starting to get worried. Oh, now he has. He has not landed many shots yet. I've been doing my own damage. Oh, another uppercut. Nice. Oh, here comes the uppercut frenzy. Uppercut frenzy! Oh, damn it. Bloody... Ugh. Uppercut oh, frenzy. Ugh. Stop with the clinching. That Ass. Right Get uppercutted. There we go. Oh, uppercut that to the jaw. The and Tweak Myers is down. Or Mayers. We're really supposed to Tweak Mayers. And he is not getting back up. Uh, another first round knockout for Ed Eddington. Oh yeah. Nice. He thrown only he threw twelve shots. Twelve punches. That's that's a rate of one punch every five seconds. That's pitiful. For all I know, that could have been like a three-punch combo, and the rest of it just stood there defending like an idiot. Alright, we are finally going to be going up against James. No, apparently not James. Could look kiss off. Jo Angeli Angela Vendetta, you piss off because I can go up against the KO Nation champion! Ha <laughs> ha! I will take on Jason Kayla and kick his ass! Right, what, what have we got? I'm shorter than he is, but I'm nearly 90 pounds heavier. And with this, we'll be up against the KO Nation champion, folks. There's no walk in the park. Last sparring. 999. Now we're moving on to cut opponent. At the moment, we've got 21. Wow, alright, so since Cut Opponent has a plus 30 uh, when you use it, that's going to go up very quickly. See, Cut Opponent's already pretty much at 100 from zero. So, yeah. We're going to get Cut Opponent, opponent go up very quickly. This is for a title, the KO Nation Heavyweight Championship. This is an important fight. Our first title bout. It's not the world title, but it is a championship. Let's see how we do. My stream went off. I'm going to take this time to have a drink. <sighs> Tastes like fruit. Welcome, well, a packed house here for HBO's. Here we go. Dynamo Ed, Ed Eddington, 13 and 0. 13 by way of knockout. This man is undefeated, untested, and could be the new KO Nation champion. And his opponent, the current champion, Jason Kayla. 20 wins, 10 defeats. Will it be 11? Kayla has 500 health. 500 health. That's a lot of health. But Ed Eddington, knocking it down already. Good start from Mist from the Dynamo himself. Could be the future, the future of this. The future of boxing. With loads and loads and loads, and loads of stamina. That punch was partially blocked. A blocked uppercut. Could not block that one though. And now the uppercut frenzy. A beauty of an uppercut. Getting nailed with those uppercut frenzies and clinches like a little bitch. Like a little bitch. Great shot to the mid oh, he's that. Oh, headbutt warning. How dare you? Right, you're going down now. You are so gonna get punched. He warned. He headbutted me. That means I believe he gets another one. 
that means that um, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a point knocked off, I believe, or something like that. So if this was to go 12 rounds, that could decide it. So that's stupid. All right, you're ready to quit, buddy. Come on, Jason. You are going down now. By the way, when you're in invincible mode, you can still be knocked down. You may not take damage, but you can still be knocked down. So do be careful. At the moment, we're doing quite well against Jason Kaler. Who is the current uh, KO Nation World Champion, but he is getting his ass kicked. Because he's not fighting back that much. But he is surviving. So maybe... He'll be able to sort of fight back at least. And back to the clinching again. Damn you. Uppercut frenzy! Oh, he just got owned by like four or five uppercuts there. Now back to... Ooh, that was a big uppercut on his part. Oh, big hit! And another one! And he's in trouble here! Kayla, ooh! And that is it of round one. Kayla, eight because of the headbutt. Eddington on ten as we go into round two. 98 punches thrown by Ed Eddington. A lot of punches by the guy. Looking good. His opponent, looking not bad, I guess. He's still got over half his health left. Oh, and the first punch of the second round knocks Kayla off his feet. Eddington could be now looking for the finish. Hits him again with another uppercut. Maybe he sees that as the weak point of Jason Kayla. Kayla trying to fight back here. There's another uppercut to Kayla. Now the uppercut frenzy. Look at this. The uppercut frenzy. From Ed Eddington. And Eddington just fighting in here. Punching away at Kayla. Who can't do anything at this point. Now the invincibility is happening again. And here comes the uppercut frenzy. And he's down again. Kayla off his feet. But he's getting back up again. Kayla showing the champion spirit here. Staying in. And this could be the longest fight that Ed Eddington's been in so far. But Ed Ed Eddington has pretty much... He's got a swollen eye! That is the first bit of damage Ed Eddington's ever suffered in his career. And it's a swollen eye. The Cutman's going to need to sort that out if it goes to round three. If it not, then it doesn't really matter. But while in this fight, that eye is going to be a problem. Kayla in trouble here. In the corner, Ed Eddington with a swollen eye is still lobbing, throwing these punches at Kayla. More hits from Eddington. Kayla just taking, taking a punishment, taking the brunt of the attack. Big uppercuts, big crosses, hooks, more uppercuts to the face. Uppercut frenzy now, making sure that Kayla's got nowhere to go. More uppercutting, and another uppercut. And it looks like this is going to go to round number three. Longest ever that we've seen Ed Eddington go. He's in round three right now. 105 punches thrown that round. Okay, so at the end of each round, if you've got uh, a problem like a cut or a swelling or something like that, your cornerman's going to try and do it. Gonna try and sort it out. Ours didn't do well. Now it's a cut, which is bad. So now instead of having a swelling eye, we now have a cut over our eye, which is crap. That probably could not have gone any worse. Anyway, so round three, the longest Eddington's ever gone in professional boxing. But he's looking strong, and there's another uppercut, and Kayla is down again. Eddington with a swollen eye, which has been cut now because the Cutman's such a twat. And Kayla has been knocked out. And we have a new Care Nation champion of the heavyweight division. Ed Eddington wins in round three. Yeah, we won that easily. 10-8, 10-7 across the board. Easily. Anyway, we have won the KO Nation belt. The KO Nation Heavyweight Championship. We have won it via knockout in round three. That was a tough match.
I mean, not tough as in he actually put up a fight. He didn't put up a fight at all. But he was quite dangerous. You know, I thought for a lot of the time he was actually going to survive and carry on. Our next opponent is going to be James Schultz. We are now the defending champion. We have a title to defend. So, we need to increase our cut opponent. Let's see how much we can increase it by. Hopefully over 200. Yes, well over 200. That is very good. Uh, ah, nearly 250, not bad. Our strength is going down now, which is bad. But now our cut opponent, we will be allowed to just damage and damage and damage to the point where they're going to get to a point where the fighter can't fight between rounds because they have so much damage taken. They'll have gashes everywhere, broken jaw, swelling, uh, cuts above eyes, broken noses. So, yeah, an endurance round, that's important. Because your opponent's going to have loads of health, but if they can't bloody see, then that's a problem. Or if they can't fight, or if they can't whatever, then that's a problem. Anyway, Ed Ellington, 14-0 at the moment, the KO Nation heavyweight champion. In his first title defense, you could say, even though it technically isn't a title defense. But I'm going to say it's a title defense anyway. His opponent, James Schultz. Five losses, 15 victories. Let's see how he does. 350 when it comes to his strength. Oh, and he starts out strong. Very strong. Ed Ellington already in trouble here. These uppercuts are not landing. And Schultz is getting some shots in. Schultz could be on the verge of defeating Dynamo Ed and becoming the new KO Nation world champion. Well, the, the KO Nation heavyweight champion, at least. Schultz, however, taken by a string of uppercuts, is now wary. Ed Ellington has been able to weather the storm, the original storm of Schultz. Now... Eddington is trying to get into his elements here. There's the uppercut frenzy. Schultz blocking the uppercut frenzy, weathering the storm there of the uppercut frenzy. Eddington has a gushing lip. That is not good for Ed Eddington. A gushing lip is not nice. That's very nasty. Another uppercut from Eddington now. He's fighting with an injury. Oh, and he's down! For the first time in Ellington's career, he's been knocked down. That will count as a knockdown. Back up very quickly, though. He was not knocked down that much. Schultz now. On the ropes. Eddington with a gushing lip. Knocked down for the first time in his career. Left himself open there to an uppercut. There's another uppercut, though. Oh, and a double hit. Oh, and another uppercut. And Eddington in trouble again. Fighting back against Schultz. Schultz has not been knocked down as of yet. That could change here as we're about to go into round two. We're about to go into the second round. Oh! And there's an uppercut. And down goes Schultz. They are now at one apiece when it comes to being knocked down. One apiece. It ends 9-8 at the moment on the cards. How's the gushing lip going for Ed Eddington? It's now reduced to a gash lip. That is good. Eddington now has just a gash lip, not a gushing lip. The lip is not bleeding anymore. Schultz could reopen that wound, though, with one shot. That's what makes, obviously, having an injury or having some sort of problem during the match very difficult. It can accumulate over rounds. Eddington is probably going to need a knockout here, which he has done 14 times in his career. And he's going for a 15th. Here comes the uppercut frenzy. Eddington. Oh, big hit. Huge uppercut. Schultz down again, but Schultz getting up. Now Eddington is showing his worth, proving his worth as the KO Nation heavyweight champion. Schultz now getting nervous. Now he's steady again. 
back on form, possibly as Schultz. Now he's nervous again, thanks to those uppercuts. Finally, maybe getting to Schultz. Getting some hits in, though, is Schultz. Oh, but takes two big uppercuts to the face. And that is not going to help Schultz, especially if... Oh, and there's another hit! And Schultz down! But Schultz getting up again. Showing the heart of a true warrior here. Keep on getting up. As I think his third time on the mat this match. Eddington's been down once. Oh, and there's a big hit! Uppercut it in the face. And Schultz is down. And he might not get back up from that one. He's not going to. This match is not going to go to round three. Ed Eddington, the winner by way of knockout. All right, that match was probably our first challenge. Our first challenge there was against Schultz. And now we are going to the next stage, HBO Boxing After Dark. Whew, so happy that's over. Hello, George Foreman. Don't disapprove of us. We like your grilling machine. It's great. All right, guys. Well, that's it from this part. I'm going to go for a break here. But in the next episode, let's play HBO Boxing. We got some money. And we are going to HBO Boxing After Dark. I'll see you then.